Hello and welcome. It's talking really. Today's story is DWP silence after Pip's success rate plunges by a fifth in just a year. So the likelihood of being awarded Pip the government's uh, disability uh, replacing DLA, although this this stat is not concerned with uh, the transfer from DLA, but it has reduced by the success rate for being awarded it has reduced by more than a fifth in just a year. The DWP have released the have released the information the day after the election showing that the new claimants of PIP are 21% less likely to be awarded it than they were last year. They show that 42% of new claims that were cleared in October 2018 were awarded some level of PIP, but that fell to 33% of new claims in October 2019. It's not clear why the award rate has fallen so sharply, although the suspicion is likely to be that it is just another attempt by the nasty Tories to clamp down on spending on disability benefits as per predicted uh, by Bojo claiming that he will be ramping up the cruelty. The fall in uh, the success rate was not mirrored by the award rates for claimants who are transferring from DLA. Those figures from the transfer showed that 69% of reassessments were cleared in October 2019 and resulted in PIP award of some kind compared with 67% in the previous year, October 2018 and 70% in October 2017. Now, not surprisingly, the award figure rates have been overlooked by the media and disability charities, which focused instead on the overall reassessment figures, showing how that more than 650,000 DLA uh, recipients have either lost the benefit or had their benefit reduced after being reassessed for PIP. A DWP spokesperson refused to say whether the Minister for Disabled People, Justin Tomlinson, was concerned about the new award rate figures, whether he could explain why the award rate had plunged and whether he would take any action to address it. He also refused to say if Tomlinson was concerned about the overall number of people who had lost their support after being reassessed. Instead, the spokesperson said in a statement, The government now spends more than 55 billion every year to support disabled people, more than at any other time under the DLA system, with more people benefiting from support through PIP than they did under DLA. Most people getting PIP after being reassessed from DLA, more than half have had their award maintained or increased, with 29% receiving the highest level of support, compared to 16% under DLA. Uh, and also the uh, latest uh, stats are that if you are a PIP transfer from DLA and you have your uh, claim refused and you've done mandatory reconsideration and you go to tribunal there is a now a 70% chance 
that you will win at Tribunal. So there you go. It's a, a story that was hidden away uh, after the election. And, of course, is another example of the nasty party. Uh, have a good day. Bye for now. <laughs>